Welcome back. Tonight is round one of the American Ninja Warrior Finals from Vegas, and Houston will be well represented. As always, Ninja Warrior veteran Daniel Gill and Josh Salinas, as well as rookie the kid. Guys, welcome. Awesome. This is so great. I mean, as we were just chatting during the break, Houston's always well represented on American Ninja Warrior. Can you believe you're back in it? Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. Exciting to be back. This is my uh, fourth year competing yeah. and my fourth year going to the the national finals in Vegas. That oh my gosh. so awesome. And because it's your fourth year, Daniel, because you've been, by the way, welcome back. You've been on Houston Life a couple times. Does the pressure lessen as you go along or does it become more intense the more I, you do it? I would say the pressure definitely intensifies especially for the competitors who do really well you know the expectation is set uh, so much higher uh, and then you know you've got not only your family but all the fans who've known you and watched you throughout the years so going into Vegas uh, I feel good I feel confident but like always we have no idea what obstacles they're going to have on these courses yeah. so that's just it when you guys go and do the course I mean you you don't know what they're throwing at you no, not at all. nope we find out the the night that we show up for the competition they give us a walkthrough show us each obstacle individually and then we wait till our time to run. So you, there's zero practice as well? Nope. Zero. You don't no. get a practice round? Oh, no. What? Definitely not. Wait, hold on. We need hold to on. talk to them. Wait. That's not fair. Wait, so the walkthrough, <laughs> Josh, tell us what the walkthrough is like. They, so, you essentially just get to scope out the course? And no, they tell not you, even right? that. Literally, we get there and stuff, and they'll literally, one by one, every single obstacle, they'll explain the course, the tester will run the course. That, that's the very first moment we get to see the course. They have everything barricaded. We don't get to see anything until they want us to see it. They, they don't want us to have any any tips or tricks or right. doing the course or anything like that. So we're in the dark until that moment happens and stuff. So we're looking at your video, Josh. I mean, when we watch this at home, I have two boys. They love, they're huge fans of you guys. They love watching this show, as we all do. I mean, how do you even concentrate on anything that's happening in front of you with these <laughs> skills and everything else and you're doing it for the very first time? Lights, cameras as well. This is like, this is, our home basically we do it every single day so it's not a big deal to us and having everybody around us like kid and Daniel cheering us on and having all the kids in support just being out there we train it every single day so to us it's not a it's like a normal day and right. stuff like that to the world it's something absolutely amazing but we live for this well and to display your strength and ability to concentrate and kid this, you're a rookie at this one, so what was that like for you to kind of go through the course? I mean, we've got the veterans here, but for you to go through that with all sort of the, you know, the spectacle yeah. under the lights and everything. It was uh, it was definitely a lot of fun, but uh, I thought I'd have to wait till I was 21 to actually compete, and then they dropped it just for season 10 to 19, and I like just barely made the cutoff. So it was kind of one of those, okay, I get to like play on the course early now, and honestly, it was just a lot of fun. Like just got to get, play on like a huge playground and at the same time, like, be on a TV show. Look at you right there. I mean, you're just so chill Not worried on the at all. TV. Um, by the way, we should point out, you're a business major at U of H? Yep. Okay, so what is your day-to-day -day like? I mean, between homework and training, I would imagine that takes up a lot of time, right? Uh, yeah, it's definitely kind of feel like I'm juggling, you know, social life, school, and then training. It's uh, sometimes, like, some have to give, but I found a pretty good balance where I, like, go to campus uh, two to three days a week, and then the rest of the week I can, like, train and focus on that. What do your classmates say about all this? Um, I've only had, like, a few people recognize me, and they're like, hey, you're that guy, like, on TV. And I was like, yep. Well, just wait till after they see you on Houston. <laughs> oh, I mean. Listen, life changing you right guys here. Will blow up. <laughs> yeah, the and by the show. way, ladies, he speaks French, too. You speak French fluently. <laughs> Yeah. Say a little something. Um, je parle français, j'étais né en France et je suis venu à Houston dès que j'avais 6 ans. I know exactly what yes. you just said. <laughs> yes. No, I don't. What did you just say? <laughs> I said uh, I was actually born in France and I moved here when I was 6. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. And now you're on a crazy American television show where people yep. run around in spandex. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything on the obstacle course, guys, that, that is just, oh no, when, when you see it, you're like, holy oh, not cow, this one. Not, not this, this one. one. Oh man, that's a hard one and stuff. At least for Vegas, um, I want to say it's going to be that double dipper because mm -hmm. it's one of those obstacles. It can get anybody. Like it, literally, you be you feel 100% going on that obstacle, and then as soon as you hit it, like you're about to see Daniel about to go into it and stuff. And you can make the smallest move, and that's it. Like oh. you're straight in the water, but. That's the one obstacle, this one right this here. Is here it, right? This is it, yeah. right? This is it, Oh my gosh. You can make such a small mistake and be out. It'll take Ooh. the best athlete well, out. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. how do you even, I know that we <laughs> see, I know it is like a video game for sure. And we see you guys, you know, in your little snippets before you compete, in your mm -hmm. stories, and how do you 
train for something like this <laughs> that you don't know what's going to be thrown at you? Yeah, well, for me, you know, I came from um, a background uh, in theater. I was, did theater like my whole life, singing, dancing, acting, performing, all of that. And so for me, I've gotten used to kind of maintaining composure under the lights with cameras and an audience. And, you know, they have the saying where the show must go on. So right. even when things go unexpectedly, you have to learn to, to, to keep face and to just roll with the punches. And so my first year on American Ninja Warrior, when I stepped up to the podium or the, the starting platform, I looked out, saw the obstacles, saw the lights, saw the, the cameras, the audience, everybody cheering, and my heart would pound out of my chest, as you can imagine. But then I, I, I switched gears mentally and went back to, okay, just like in theater, Daniel, you've done this before. Just you know it. how to keep this under, under control. So that helps me a lot as I, as I compete on the course. You guys will do great. Daniel, Josh, Kid, thank you so much for stopping by. Root for these guys. Yes. Good luck. Remember going on to tonight. tune in tonight, 7 p.m., right here on KPRC Channel 2 for round one of the American Ninja Warrior National Finals from Vegas. We'll be right back. Good luck, guys. Thank you. You can do it.